Hold on, how long do I have? An hour and 15 minutes? I can push out something real quick. Here we are at last, Major. This is Risenbolt, our hometown. Hmm. The crisp, clean air. Such a quiet, peaceful place. I told you we didn't need a bodyguard. As soon as my arm's fixed, I'm cutting you loose, Major. What are you saying, Edward Elric? You must learn that there is no shame in accepting another's help. One with true strength acknowledges one's own weaknesses with humility and accepts help at times of need. Yeah, true. Okay, okay, I gotcha. By the way, this is the first time I've ever met an auto male mechanic. There's a shop still a ways from here. See that house over there? That's it. They give me a discount because I'm an old customer. They do good work. Come on, we're almost there. Welcome, boys. So good to see you. Well, yeah, also, this was packed in. I'm not joking. There was actually a bonus DVD packed in with the first two episodes of the second season. So, the start of this game is sort of where those episodes start off. Hey, Auntie Panaco. I need your services again. It's been a long time, Auntie. Alex Louise Armstrong is the name. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, madam. I'm Panaco Rockbell. The pleasure's all mine. Well, well. Ed, you've gotten smaller since the last time I saw you. Mm -hmm. Squeak, my throne, turn up size bowl liquor. You half pinted floozy, flea circus performer, bride shrimp egg. <laughs> Damn it, Ed. Wrench. Do I have to tell you to call me before you come in for maintenance? Uh, Winry, are you trying to kill me? Oh, hi, Winry. We're home. <laughs> welcome back. Why? So welcome. <laughs> the Amazon wrench. What? what? What happened to your arm? Where are the Amazon? Where are the Amazonian women? Why? Why, do, why is there a wrench here? Yeah, about that. It got busted into something like a million pieces. I need it fixed fast. Ed, I want answers. How did you wreck the best auto mail I've ever made? I put my heart and soul into that. And Al's all busted up too? You've been getting into some real trouble, haven't you? <laughs> what? Well, what, I mean, what is that? Ask Ed. <laughs> Hold on. Let me take a minute to point out what is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> It's like a mini balloon. It's like a deflated mini balloon. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Who drew this? Cutting, building, fine tuning, and finishing. Then this, that, and the other. Ugh, more all nighters for sure. Listen, I know I'm asking a lot, but can you finish it all in like a week? 
Don't insult me. We'll have it done in three days. But I'm gonna have to charge you extra for the rush job. <laughs> Still, that's three days of waiting. It's nice to take a break every once in a while. Let's enjoy it. Taking breaks just ain't my style. I'm gonna break something if I can't find something to do. <laughs> Brother, I've been thinking maybe... Maybe we should have visited. I'll stay here. I don't want to bother the major to carry me around. I mean, should go while you still have the time. We definitely could have seen mom, but you know. Sorry. Visit her grave, huh? You're right. I'll be back in a while, I guess. Mr. Armstrong, was it? I was hoping you could tell me something about the daily life of those boys. As rural as we are, we don't get much news from the city. And those boys haven't sent me so much as a postcard since I left. I worry about them, that's all. The Elric brothers, especially Edward as the full metal alchemist, have garnered quite a reputation around Central and in the East. As the unfortunate result, they do get pulled into a wide range of troubles from time to time. But it's all right. You take my word for it. Those boys are strong. Strong, eh? Yeah, those are pictures, by the way. Um, yeah, from the intro from the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they're strong. Must get stronger. That's right. Like four years ago, when Ed transmuted his brother's soul by sacrificing his arm. Or when he decided to become a dog of the military. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and his dog has automail, by the way. Or when he withstood the pain of automail surgery that would make even a grown man cry. I wondered how he could have so much strength in that tiny body of his. And it's because he is so strong that I worry. I worry if he could recover in the off chance that he'd stumble. Yeah, I mean, that's what this be. family is here for, is it not? His family is literally five. I mean, he's literally fifteen. He's strong. Then it makes no sense. He's as strong as a man, but he's like not a. It, this <laughs> family. Yes, that's the case, isn't it? I've watched those two grow up since the day they were born. Let's go home, Den. Everybody's waiting. You ready? Here it comes! There we go! Ganon! when the nerves connect gets me every time don't be such a baby now go ahead move it around it feels great now I know you're gonna slack off so I increase the percentage of chrome to prevent rusting but Ow! I'm coming to fix ya would you please listen to me when I'm talking to you? No. Your arm looks great, Ed. We can always count on Auntie and Winry, huh? Yeah, I guess. Okay, Al, it's your turn to be fixed. Ready? Break out of that box. And the box is gone. <sighs> he didn't even crush it, it just disappeared. <laughs> I feel great. Thanks, brother. Don't mention it. Well, then, 
Shall we? Let's fight with Armstrong. Hmm? What are you two about to start now? We must become stronger. Just a little sparring Strong. practice. Gotta make sure my limbs are working. Besides, we haven't been able to move for a while, so we need to get our chops back up. Oh ho! Then I shall join you in your pugilistic pursuits. Alright. Okay. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Come hither, tots! All pulled punches shall be promptly punished! Hmm? Such hesitation! If you're not coming for me, then I am coming for you! Oh no. Behold! The artistic physical combat training secret number one, according to the Armstrong tradition! No! Get away from me! Physical combat! Give it to him! Get ready! Give it to him! Okay!
can also be out. Help! Out! Help me! Help me! No. Ah. I won. Oh my god, dude. Uh, that was worth it. That was worth it. I got all that stuff. Oh man. All I got was an elixir. I don't get all my stuff back. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Highly impressive, brothers Elric. They knew. They knew. Yes, man. I won all of the special battles that I should have lost. Uh, Al, are you intact? Winning is not an. You know, winning is not a requirement, but I just need to win these for my experience so I can grind up and be higher level than everyone else. Uh, I think I am, but that was a tough one. <laughs> the beautiful yet strong fraternal love. <laughs> the amazing combat moves born of your brotherly bond. I am so moved. Stay away from me! The Bower. Brothers Elric, take this, my humble gift, to celebrate your victory over me. Take it. Huh? Yeah. Um, thanks, but... Take it! Ed, I think you better do as he says, or else he's gonna keep posing like that for the... Uh, yeah, you got a point there. Okay, Major, I accept your gift. Thank you very... Well done! Well done indeed, Edward Elric! Oh, no! We're gonna catch the first train out of here tomorrow morning. <laughs> Madam Panaka, Lady Winry, thank you for your hospitality. So you're leaving, eh? It's going to get awfully quiet around here again. <laughs> Take good care of that auto mail, okay? Don't do anything stupid to put yourself in danger again. Yes, ma'am. We... we got trouble! Hmm? What's the matter at this hour? <gasps> monsters! I saw monsters on the loose! Hmm? Monsters? Ed! What did these monsters look like? They're black all over! And they move all creepy-like! I saw five or six of them around the hill caves! Could these be the same monsters linked to the Vanishings? Hmm, not just rumors, then. Major, we're gonna go check out the Hill Caves. Hmm. Then I shall accompany you. Okay. Well, actually, I'd like for you to stay and look after everyone in the neighborhood. What? But I should... Please, Major, look after Auntie and Winry for us. Yes, perhaps that is the right course of action. Then I shall protect this town with all my heart, soul, and muscle. Be careful, Ed. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Mm. Don't worry. It shouldn't be a big deal. We'll be back in two shakes. Well, no. You stay here, okay? See you guys later. Oh my god, dude. Armstrong literally drained me of all my items and stuff. <laughs> Ed. Ow. <laughs> that was close, like extremely close. Oh my god, please let there be a save point. I need it really badly. The Hill Caves. I'd almost forgotten about that place. We used to play a lot in there. Hide and seek, <laughs> pretend the expeditions, and even snipe hunts. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when Winry helped make a secret hideout for the three of us. 
It's funny. It's only been a few years, but now it seems like such a long time ago. <sighs> Let's get going, Al. You don't remember handing over our playground any monster, do you? No. I sure don't. Save point, please. Plus. Plus. New save point. Yes! Yeah, boy, it's a save point! <laughs> Dude, I, okay, I'm gonna end it here. Yo, I will see you next time. Two 11-minute boss fights in a row. That was crazy.